What's up guys, welcome to today's video. I know it's been a little while since I made a video, but it's because I've been wrapping the car and just trying to get little things done for, for the Philly Auto Show. But one of the biggest things that I've had to do came in this box today. And uh, what that is, is this giant piece of black FRP fiberglass. These, let's see if I go out far enough. So these are rear over fenders from C7 Composites for a 3000 GT. I'm gonna be going wide body in the rear for something else that we're gonna be working on after the auto show's done. And then I'm eventually gonna be going wide body in the front. And uh, no Rocket Bunny stuff, no, none of that nonsense. Uh, some guys think it, think it looks good. I think, I almost had that fall into my car. Uh, I think it looks good on certain applications, but for my car, I'm not going to go that route. Retrospec, Paulo, who makes my front lip, he makes a kit that's very similar to these cars for, like, similar to the Rocket Bunnies. And my only complaint, the reason I don't have it already, because I was dead set on getting one when he released that he was making it, is that the front fender, um, it keeps moving over there and it's making me nervous. Uh, the front fender doesn't separate from the bumper. It, like, all right, there we go. The front fender t like bolts on to the fender and the bumper at the same time. And how often I take my bumper on and off the car, it really wasn't reasonable for me. So I'm going to be doing the C7 rear first, but then I will be getting the C7 front fenders as well. They are an inch wider on each side. The rears are an inch and a half wider on each side. And I've mocked the one up so far. This is going to be a multi-day video because I don't have a lot of time tonight to work on the car. Uh, so this is what it looks like mocked up. Switching to black and white mode because I don't need you guys seeing this color or this color or this color or that color or any of the colors to that matter. There's a lot of different colors on the car right now. But this is what it looks like mocked up. There isn't a whole lot of information online about these and a lot of the guys that run them, they mold them in. So there's a little, there's like a lip along the body line across the top here. So I'm gonna have to wrap that in the main body color, this whole section, because I wrapped it like here. And then, um, I mean, it lines up perfectly with the edge there. I mean, this is still rough. It's duct taped to the car, but um, it all lines up so nicely. Look up in there in the corner, so good. Um, and it comes out. So my wheels, the RPF ones, they poked from the factory fender. Uh, you might be able to see up in there maybe, no. They poke from the factory fender and they're fully covered by this fender. So I will be getting a wheel spacer to help myself out here for the time being. I do want to run a wider tire on the rear. That's kind of part of the reason I'm doing this. So tomorrow night, I think I'm going to start installing them and I'll jump to that in a minute. I'm going to rib nut them on the car. So I have some hardware coming and we're just going to do rib nut inserts um, around here so that this whole panel can be removed from the vehicle once we start working on the back half. And um, for the Philly Auto Show, I'm gonna keep this on the low, but for the Philly Auto Show, I'm gonna SEMA it and just cut a little bit of my arch out, the factory arch to uh, allow the wheel to clear. But after the auto show is done, we're cutting the entire factory quarter panel off um, and basically just using this uh, FRP uh, panel as the outer skin for the car because we will be doing a tube rear. We will be doing the fuel cell. I haven't showed you guys a fuel cell yet, but uh, I do have it. And I have all this, the lines and the vibrant stuff that I need to install the fuel cell on the car. So that's what we're going to be doing next. So let's jump to tomorrow and start mocking this thing up. All right, guys. So we're here. It's the next day and I got the fender still taped up and it's kind of weird. Really, I'm, I don't know the best way to go about mm, starting to mount it. So I think what I'm gonna do is like, this corner lines up pretty well right there. And then this lines up pretty flush right here. I'm gonna open the door, take this tape off. I mean, it all lines up pretty well. So I think what I'm just gonna do, Tyler is gonna come over with a rib nut tool at some point either today or tomorrow. So I'm just gonna run a little tiny self tapper down in through there and uh, I guess go from there. Self tappers in place. We're gonna keep moving forward, I guess. 
and uh, see where this gets us. At least these holes are tiny, so I'll have a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to putting the rib nuts in, uh, if I have to like drill a little bit over or anything like that. All right, so now I have little uh, tiny self tappers going in down there, and I'm gonna throw one in here, and we also have one right here, and uh, this will pull this side in. And uh, then I also have these just cheap generic fender washers and silver that I'm gonna run. I figure silver is the closest thing to the uh, color of the car. So that'll work there. I'm gonna grab my Sharpie marker here because I have to cut away underneath of here. There's a lip that's about an inch and a half and it kind of goes in past where the factory body line is. So I'm gonna cut like the width of the tire. So probably like from, I'd say right here. If I can see that. So we'll go right there to, it's kind of hard to see, I apologize guys, cause it's black. I'm gonna go to like right here. So I'm gonna have to trim that lip right here. Um, but I will leave some of it, just a tiny bit, so that it maintains like the structural integrity of this area of the panel. All right guys, so this side is all mounted up and walk around. This side is also all mounted up just with these self tappers. So I didn't think they were gonna come today, but my little rib nut inserts came in. So basically what a rib nut is, is it's like a removable rivet. So that's what I'm gonna be using to secure these on the car. You have this piece and Tyler is bringing over his rib nut tool. This actually gets like pressed and crimped into the body of the car, like the metal. Uh, so you, where I have each of these self tappers, I'm actually gonna go ahead and drill a hole that is the size of this insert so that it could slide in and then the tool crimps it so that it secures itself like a rivet. But then I'm gonna use these fender washers on the outside, like so. And then the little Allen bolts, the M6 Allen bolts, will uh, allow me to screw this panel on. These C7 panels get rid of your gas door. So that's part of the reason why I'm going fuel cell. Well, the reason why I got these is because I'm going fuel cell. So. I'm losing my gas door, but I'm gaining some width, especially right here, so that when the car squats or is lower, it won't um, rub as much and things like that. But when I get the fuel cell, I won't have to worry about my gas door being here because that's all getting cut out and uh, I'll be filling up from the trunk. All right, Tyler's here. <laughs> so he has the nut cert tool and I went around, I had to drill the holes out three eighths inch um, all around the car and I have some of the nut certs done and I just got these two to finish on this side but basically how it works is you take the tool screw the nut cert onto the M6 adapter that you put into the tool when you set it up and then you just put it in hey, hold this <laughs> put it in uh, when it's flush with the uh, car you squeeze the two handles together Release them, unscrew the tool, and then it's ready to have the fender washer put into it. Ignore the chipping paint, but yeah, so that's a, a good little nut set right there. Just a good nut? Just It's just a good nut, quality nut. I did it right and screwed this on all the way. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, you gotta open it and then yeah, screw it. Yeah, no, you gotta screw it down more. Oh, screw yeah, it down yeah, more. yeah, yeah. Right. You're I all start nervous because you're on camera, Mike. Jeez. I, I started screwing it down when it was closed already. All right. And release. I know, right? Camera start getting in my head. All this pressure with 1K subs. <laughs> All right. So that's after. 
and that is before yeah you, you can kind of see it on the camera better like how it, it just looks flat down the side of the car yeah and if you look towards the door you really see like the difference in how much it sticks out all right guys so tyler just left we got the other side riv nutted on with the fender washers and everything and it looks awesome it's getting super windy out um it looks awesome we're gonna maybe throw a little spacer on right now i have a five mil spacer so this is a 18 by 10 and a half plus five no plus 10 i'll throw a 10 mil spacer and it'll make it a plus five now it'll probably be good for the philly auto show i thought i was gonna have to order a bolt-on spacer so thankfully i can just do a slip on and uh we'll be good there but super stoked on how these turned out on each side. A lot of the width comes from like right here. Whereas like the factory fender is like, it goes in a line down in line with this. It's just hard to explain, but like back here is all hollow now. Like this is where it makes up all of the, the space. You get a lot of space. So when the whole fender's cut out, there's plenty of room up in here. Won't have to worry about any kind of rubbing with the wheels and things like that. So super happy with how it came out. Let's go down here. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna wrap the video up here, guys. It's getting pretty chilly out and I gotta close the garage door and uh, clean up here. But I have only a couple days left until the auto show. Tonight is Thursday. You're probably not going to see this tonight, but tonight is Thursday for reference. And the car has to be loaded up on Wednesday night because Thursday morning we're heading down to the Philadelphia Auto Show to display the car for the week. So I got a lot of stuff to do, but the over mounting these over fenders was one of the biggest things I wanted to knock out. And um, all I'm going to have to do is pull them off, wrap them, and then I have a couple other little bits of the car and the side skirts that I have to finish wrapping, cut some logo vinyl, and that's about it. So it's just finishing up some wrap stuff. No more like mechanical stuff, which is the, what these were the last part of the mechanical things that I had to do. So thanks for watching the video and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'll see you guys next time.